SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Hello and welcome to Real Talk. I'm Cornelia O'Dwyer and we are at Melorosa on our lower road. I'm about to join some friends for some drinks and some chick chat. Come with me. Joining us on Real Talk today, we have Mofa Duncan, media personality and actor, Miss Wana Wana, popular on air personality on Inspiration FM, Deemi Okolawo, popular actor and MC. So, mm -hmm. so that's what we're doing. Hello, guys. Hi. Thanks for joining me. Hello. That's so gentlemanly of you. Get up and give me a hug. No. How are you? I'm going to st stroll over for you, Wana. Hello. So, 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 are you ready for the juicy goss? Oh. Lay it down, lay it so, down. So, let's lay it down, let's lay it down. Mm -hmm. You know, like, in these recent times, we have these, like, new relationship trends. Okay. One of them would be people walking down the aisle, like, you know, nine months pregnant. Mm -hmm. Another one of them is moving in together. Quite eager to hear how you guys feel about couples moving in together before they get married. In Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing. So it varies per country. Okay, so yeah. in Nigeria, how do you feel mm. about it? Because people are doing it. Mm. So let's start with ladies. Oh, why, 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 do, why, why put me on the spot? Um, you know, the funny thing is, I actually think it's not even that new because a lot of our parents were actually living together. They used to call it common law marriage. Mm -hmm. So eventually they automatically become the wives. Right from living oh, with together, no, right. together. Do you think they did? Because like they frown on it so bad that I you think... think of, but you know that, you know that you know, like, um, trends are just kind of recycled and every, every parent wants to feel like they're better. Every generation before wants to feel like they're better than the current generation. Everybody kind of forgets what they did and all of those sorts of things. So I, I do know that there are a lot of people's parents I knew who were... They, just, they became common law wives, as, as they say. So, um, yeah, I think it does happen. Um, so... Do, are you for it? Do you think it affects a relationship in a positive or a negative way? Well, so relationships are, are really very unique to the individuals. Mm -hmm. um, some things might work for a couple that would never work for another. So um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that I'm for or against it. Mm -hmm. I just think that where you find yourself in a situation where you have to live together yeah. or, um, or otherwise, you know, you just, you just roll, go with the flow, right? So given like a situation like Nigeria, you know, most mm -hmm. at least girls live with their parents before yeah. you move out. It's very rare that you would have somebody who lives alone before, you know, which is where if the guy is living alone in the back of his house or something, then the yeah. girl kind of, you know, moves in with him on a low key. But do you feel like um, you need to do that to kind of learn the person? Um, yes, I think it's basically, it comes down to age as well. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you're dating somebody who is not of age, you know, it's like, ah, what are you doing? You see your mother. You mean like a Kylie Jenner situation? <laughs> <laughs> But um, it's very important because this, this society these days has, um, has a lot of things that affect a relationship. Mm -hmm. So it's good to have your, your, let me use the word spouse, close by. Mm -hmm. It also gives you that time to learn about the person so that when you don't marry the person, like, oh, I didn't know that this one doesn't leave the soap open or things like that. You know? So there are little perks that human beings cannot really stand. Mm -hmm. And you need to know that from the person. So, so that being said, knowing, you say, you're saying know that, so do you think that it should be a gradual thing because a lot of people frown on it because there's a reason why you shouldn't, even if we want to go biblically, which, you know, let's yeah, not start that debate, but yeah. biblically when, you know, Jesus said to the lady, you are staying with the man that is not your husband, you know, you, there's, there's the kind there's of biblical the, sexual thing yeah, of course. Um, that parents consider because, but people are walking down the aisle now, not that it makes it okay, yeah. fully full-blown pregnancy, and I'm just like, ah. But I think that there is a, a part of me that feels that you get to know the person. Yeah, and yeah. I am a very all or nothing person. So I want to know everything now. now I don't I want know. to find out that you it's are filthy good, 10, of yeah. 10 months down the of line. Course. I mean, I, I, w I think for me, I would, I would sort of bring it a little bit cultural. So for instance, um, yeah, I think on the, on the good side is you get to know the person's um, ex habits. habits. I think usually habits yeah. is, the, is the really, really the main thing that you get to know. Um, but there is this, thing where and if somebody said, said to me that um, doesn't want the person see you finish and then get tired of you and then want to be with somebody else. Wow. And I think that's huge. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah what that's, somebody, huge. that's what somebody told me once because I've had this conversation with somebody before. And then I think there's also that thing um, about sort of, again, our society where marriage is almost like the, it's the symbolism mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. this relationship is real. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. It's so, like you've arrived. Yeah, that yeah you. so like it's, it, it's what solidifies the relationship. So where for some other people, they feel that, okay, I'm spending the rest of my life with this guy or this woman. That's what it is. It doesn't exactly. matter whether we sign a con paper or not, or whether we wear rings or we don't do that. Mm -hmm. But I think for the majority of people in this um, society, mm -hmm. yeah. until you guys walk down the aisle before that le relationship is legitimate valid. or valid, yeah. and, and a lot of people, it's, it's not valid to them until that point. So some people so get you scared that yeah. they, they feel like they're being used if, you know, if you are living with Literally. this person. Like, you know, when, when, they, when people now break up and say, ah, he just used me, finish. Yeah, but they, you know, they, a, lot they, of, a lot of girls actually mm. do it and do more than they so, they're supposed yeah. to be doing, you know. So you're cleaning, <laughs> yeah. you're cooking, you're cooking, doing, yeah. you know. I, but then the thing is that some people, some people still pretend. That's the other thing as well, though. Some people, a, a, a woman might live with, might live with a yeah. guy and she's still pretending because she's still yeah. waiting for that ring, as a lot of people do. So she's still hiding a lot of her behavior until she gets, you know, until we jump that broom, then I can fully display myself. But it can also be detrimental because mm. that pretense, you, you feel because you're acting. Some people are not very good actors. Yeah. So people can see through that pretense. Mm. So, like, I mean, would you do it? Would you, would you like, let's get personal. Would you move in? <laughs> Put you on the spot. Would, would you move in, in would you, with your partner? Would you, would you, would you, Do you feel like in the current day and yeah. age, it is so relevant and mm -hmm. it's so our time and our generation yeah. to move in with somebody, regardless of what the parents might That's think, because first. it works for you? Because there's so okay. many marriages that are good. I probably would. I probably hold wouldn't. on, Wana. Hold okay. on for a second, right? Okay, so let's rephrase that. Yeah. Wana, I'm hot. Why do I feel like you're trying to say? I'm hot, right? And uh, and I and I came up and a little we, bit self -indulgent, we sort of fine, like we have a relationship, and I mm -hmm. tell you to move in. Would you move in with me, Wana? No, I wouldn't. That's a very good angle. <laughs> That's a very good angle yeah. because it's different when you know. Sometimes women feel like you know mm -hmm. they're the ones always pushing. Where's this relationship yeah. going? Yeah. And when a guy actually when a guy asks, actually asks you, you to come in, I would you? It's, it's a compliment. It's like, it's like it's a, an upgrade. Next stage. It's, it's an upgrade. Yeah. I don't think I don't think it's ever happened yeah. in a way whereby the the I don't know, but. It's never happened that, oh, please come and stay with I think it's just a great process. You spend the night one day, then you spend the night the next day, then three weeks, and then you're leaving stuff in. And she so comes in, comes in. But me, I think, I want to budge on what she said, a point that she raised, because a lot of things happen, and, you know, you make mistakes. Marriages have been, you know, done by this, so many mistakes, and living with a person prior to your marriage can expose a lot of things about you as a person, because that whole idea of saying, oh, you get tired of the person, Bro, marriage is a lifelong thing. Exactly. If, I, if, yeah, I'm tired, exactly. if I'm tired of you in three months, mm -hmm. it ain't gonna work. Yeah. Okay, so I, I grew up having house here, but mm. cooking, doing stuff. So when I when I lived alone, I, I had an arrangement. Someone comes in, cleans and, and cooks. Mm. And we were dating for a while, um, this young lady and I. And I just never realized how not domestic she was. Mm -hmm. There you go. You know. And for some reason, you know, I had to change. Um, well, the person that was doing, doing stuff had to leave. And I was alone for, for a couple of weeks. And I just thought, you know, naturally, sure. the it's woman would step up. I don't like where that is no, going. No, no. I don't I'm, I'm like where that is going. No, 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 please, no, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. But it's the truth, it's the truth, it's the truth. And it's the reality for a lot of men. So it is the truth. So you started to feel like you wanted her to clean and... No, no, no. She wasn't domesticated. I just expected it. It's like my girl's car messes up. She doesn't have to tell me before I, you know, get under the hood and try to fix stuff, you know? You don't have to tell me that. It's like man code or something. No, it's the truth. And so I expected that, you know, a few things would happen. And I looked and it didn't happen. So let's move to the to the to the maybe breakup part of things, okay. like moving to how it affects the quality of the relationship. Mm -hmm. So you guys start to fight a lot, and you kind of think, okay, you know, maybe we made the wrong decision here. Yeah. You know, moving out mm -hmm. is a little more difficult. Yeah, much it's like yeah, a yes, when you yeah. have mm -hmm. you know ties together, you dropped off dry cleaning together, and you go back to the dry cleaning, and they build you. We or bought furniture. We bought yeah, furniture yeah, together. You know, the TV. We bought it together. No personal experience. Um, it's 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 tough. But you see, you just have to... Oh, so you have moved in with someone before? No, no, like, no, me moving? No, they... Someone moved in. No, they, they, they always... Oh, 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 yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. For me, for me personally, it's like, it's like how I have, well, we had a conversation about it. It's just, you know, delete block on certain things. You know? Right. And yeah, you just, you just have it's to just... It's easier that way on social media. You just have to, you know, you have to just, how is this person? Oh, she's fine. She's good. You know, oh, oh she's fine. She's good. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And then once it, so once it's, you know, find maybe like a, her top or your pepper top in your stuff, like... Right. Mm -hmm. Or the underwear, you know, trickling yeah. in when the new babe comes in, yeah. you know. Just pack it up. I mean, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. It's not like yeah. you, have, you have a plan. There's nothing written. So when this happens, you must just pack it up. 
put it aside and say, So you don't think there's any emotion? So you wouldn't refrain from doing it because of the, the potential baggage. emotional because, baggage? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean like, if, if you live your life in fear of, oh, this might not happen, or you might break up, you would not even live at all. Mm. You know what I mean? So it happened, it didn't work. Right. Just move on. But then I also wonder, right, because I, I find that some people end up staying because they've invested so, so much. much. So their the relationship is not even working. Mm -hmm. Well, but because of that investment of, you know when you think about everything together, okay, the fact that we've been living together for the past two years, then everybody else knows that we are breaking up. up yeah. Then I have to pack my loan and go and look for another place to stay. Then everybody on the street is going to be asking me, ah, what's of Tokwe? What's of Mofe? What's of? It's bad enough that even when you just date, forget even living together, everybody, everybody knows. knows. So yeah. the first thing is, ah, I haven't seen you with blah, blah, blah in a while. Right. Oh, we broke up. What happened? Nobody ever just walks away. Right. So then imagine that you're now living together, five and six. You have one answer. Like, on, yeah. And then sometimes people end up staying longer in relationships they shouldn't be in because of all of those things coupled together. Uh, one of the things I've realized is that there are some things that if I had known before we got married, mm -hmm. it would have made it harder for me to get married. Mm -hmm. um, and some things that she knows about me now that may have, you know, like, forget yeah. may have, would, would have, would have, yeah. She probably wouldn't have said yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Um, but the fact that, and then you said this, you've invested so much. Because, yeah. And, and traditionally, marriage mm. is really an investment. It's an investment, yeah. Um, and the more vested you are, the, the, the more effort you're going to put yeah. into making that relationship mm -hmm. work. Well said. You know? yeah. So um, you're moving together, and there is, there is no solid, um, it's almost like a social contract yeah. between two people, the marriage. Um, it's easier to, to look at the small things, the flaws, yeah. the skid marks. Mm -hmm. yeah. You oh, know. Yeah. And, and, it's, <laughs> and instead of having the conversation that helps you even mm -hmm. become a better person and more mature person, um, you, just, you, know, you just take a hike. We decided to take real talk to the streets. It looks somehow, it looks somehow, living with, it looks somehow living with somebody that is not your wife inside the house. Because as a man, as a flesh, you understand, sleeping together inside the house, at least, Maybe she went to go and bath now. Changing in your presence. Temptation can come anytime. Some can, but there is always a reason why people do that. If I can move on with my boyfriend while we are friends, we can also be together while we are planning to get married. That doesn't mean that we are doing anything wrong. Uh, we can stay in the same house now. If you should not have anywhere to stay, I can help her now. I will take her to my room. I don't support that fact. The reason why two adults moving together before marriage is because probably the guy is trying to know if the girl is being productive. Some do try to do because they need to have sex at that time to know if the girl is doesn't have STD. Boyfriend, see me, see that she went to that is Me le bag be, konsi ojan because konsi be she fe jog be. Not in me anything, even as we never marry. If I like her I'm from my heart, if I don't like her, I'm not gonna feel anything for her. You know why women they hide their own well where be say? As a man now, as I be now, at the age of 40, I can still marry age of 20 something years. But yeah, even 45. But woman lie. Totally against it. It doesn't portray value. Like if we keep on moving in together, what are we going to what are we showing our children? You don't know who is who, who really loves you. You know, you just see someone on the street and you move in together. Where it is easy to move in, it's where it's easy to move out. And I think that's why the divorce rate is escalating. Because we move in easily and we move out easily. I always I always say that um, every relationship has its own DNA mm -hmm. and it's your choice, your choice and you're defining it by yourself both, your choices. both yeah. your choices it's about it's about ultimately it's about both of you yeah so even if you want to follow anybody else's rules it's going to be both of you for the rest of your lives Mofa, do you agree yes i do i think that each and every each and every individual is the architect of their own happiness so um i like that I architect know. of their own I happiness write that down. <laughs> but yeah yeah <laughs> so if it suits you do it 
I don't conform to what people say because now you know where it should. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. I mean, you know how you fry your egg to make yeah. it taste right. how you want it. So if it, if it suits you, do it because um, whether you do it or you don't do it, people are still going to talk anyway. Yeah. So just do it and be happy doing it. Um, and if she gets pregnant, hey, you know, the more the merrier. Yeah. Do you, do you agree? I agree 100%. Um, I'd add a bit more. Um, even though you have had those conversations and you've decided that you would play by your own rules, mm -hmm. you know, um, there's also the fact that you have to put up some sort of face for the world because mm -hmm. the, you don't want to fight too many battles in your relationship. Right. True. Right. You don't want right. parents or right. friends coming in. So put up the facades that need to be put up. Put up. Let okay. them deal right. with that. Mm -hmm. right. But mm -hmm. between the two of you, you know what you know, Good, yeah. like a green you know, screen. Yeah. Right, so yeah. doing sort of like embellish. Hold on, hold on, please. Or do you have to do something? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm going to Do we have to? What's up with you guys? I think yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's the thing, it. we don't get it. You don't get it. I suppose the stalls. So you're saying sort of pretend small. It's, it's, it's give them what they want, want right. to get but what you want. Exactly, but doing. you understand what you're yeah. doing. I think that's a good summary to the conversation. Yeah. Like, it's like, give it a little, because that's, yeah, that's a, a lot of people get carried away yeah. with, oh, it's our own thing. Yeah. But, you know, you're like, man, it's yeah. easier for you when you just conform sometimes. Exactly. Right. Okay, that's great. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for having us. But if you would like to join the conversation, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Andani TV. If you have a story you would like us to tell, use the hashtag Andani Real Talk. Join us next time for some Real Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Faz, aka Faz the Bad Guy. On today's lesson, I will be teaching you how to subscribe to the Danny TV channel so as to be able to watch more wonderful videos. All you have to do is click on this.